Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Ranking Member Cardin, for, and members of the committee for having me back today. Uh, we had a good discussion last week in this committee on the uh, department's annual TIP report, uh, which we released last month, and we're grateful for your support and attention to this important issue and many other State Department matters. Uh, as I committed in my confirmation hearing, I am always at your disposal to come and talk about issues of mutual importance of the Department of State, and I'm grateful for this opportunity to engage with the committee both on the Draft Authorization Act and on our redesign effort. Um, I certainly recognize and appreciate the committee's success last year in passing authorization legislation. In passing the bill, you sent a clear, unmistakable message that Congress is committed to American diplomacy and to the many patriots of the Department of State who work long hours, serve the American people, and advance our interests abroad. Thank you, members of the committee, for your commitment to the department and for your dedication to serving our mutual goal of serving and representing the people of the United States. We look forward to working with you on this year's authorization effort and appreciate the opportunity to engage, discuss, and coordinate you, with you throughout this process. From my initial review of the draft FY 2018 State Department authorization bill, it's clear that the committee and the department share, share many of the same goals, advancing America's national security and economic interests, the judicious expenditure of resources, and the protection of our personnel and interests around the world. In the 21st century, the United States faces many evolving threats to our national security. As this committee knows well, the State Department, with a workforce of more than 75,000, must respond to these challenges with the necessary speed and appropriate resources. The nature of our work at the State Department demands flexibility and adaptability to an ever-changing world. We ask that the committee keep this in mind as you continue to evaluate proposals for the authorization bill. We also appreciate the great interest and support the committee has shown to the department's efforts to make our programs and organizations more efficient and effective. The cornerstone of this redesign effort has been the input and feedback received from the State Department's own employees. We recently com completed a listening survey which is made, made available to every one of our State Department and USAID colleagues. The response was outstanding and well received. Over 35,000 employees completed the survey and hundreds took part in face-to-face follow-up interviews. Now that we have that initial feedback and have posted the results of the survey, the Secretary has asked me to lead phase two of the redesign efforts, which began last week. I share the Secretary's approach to making our department more efficient and effective without preconceived ideas about the final result. Phase two, includes a steering committee that provides oversight and working groups to address the main themes that came out of the listening tour. First, foreign assistance. Second, overseas alignment and approach. Third, human capital planning. Fourth, IT platforms. And fifth, management support. We've created an online portal so that every employee can continue to provide input throughout this process. To ensure a thorough and comprehensive review, we are drawing upon the expertise of every bureau in the department with participation from Washington and posts overseas. This redesign effort is part of a larger agency review as directed by, by the President. To meet the President's goals, we expect our review to be completed and a report submitted by September 15th. We welcome your input as we move forward and, know that your, and please know that your feedback will be integral to making the Secretary's organizational redesign a success. Thank you again for the opportunity to discuss the State Department Authorization Bill. We look forward to working with you and your staff so that Congress can exercise its oversight role and the State Department can carry out its mission to serve American interests abroad. I look forward to answering any questions you may have.